Now, if I then take the phaser real quick, put it on a really high damage and just... Oh, no, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, oh no. Okay. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to head down here today. No, this seems to be in. Okay. Hey, what's going on, guys? Cyclone here. Welcome back to another video. Um, Today, we're going to be doing... Oh, wait. Was I recording that? Um, um... Okay, so I might have just shown you guys how to get into the lab. Um, just, just don't tell. Me. Listen, listen. That, that'll be our secret, okay? Listen, fans, fans, everybody, everybody at home watching, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, just listen up. That's gonna be our secret. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen, and you saw nothing. Dan, Dan, Dan. Sorry, that was stupid. Um, hey, Bob, what's going on, dude? Boop. It just says boop. Hey, you. Yes, you. You should subscribe. Cool face. I agree, but Bob, what's going on, dude? Dude, I didn't know either. I don't know either, dude. Bro, wait, what are you saying? There's like a bunch of things that are weird. Wait, are you all about that stuff, Bob? Dude, no, I see what you mean. This is so weird. There's like stars here and everything. By the looks of it, guys, today we're playing um, Minecraft with a matter overdrive. If you guys don't know what it is, it basically turns you into an android in your minecraft world it adds in three different pills uh, the yellow one is unimportant but let's i, I want to hear you guys' opinion what pill do you want to take the red pill or the blue pill comment down below which one would you take one gives you a million dollars the other one gives you infinite living i, I don't know they come up with what they do by yourself but red pill or blue pill we'll get into that later so basically guys this intro has been a little bit weird but today we're doing the matter overdrive mod it turns it turns you into an android that's the only reason i downloaded it is because it's awesome so if we look in the right chest you have android parts and weapons and if you look in the left shaft, we have upgrades. Now, none of these are important right now. Now, I'm going to get into Game of T and just get a couple of things real quick. Now, you notice we have these two spawn eggs. We have spawn melee rogue android and spawn ranged rogue android. Now, we've just created a small pit in the ground and we're going to spawn a few of them so you can see what they do. So, these are things that will naturally spawn in your Minecraft world and they'll more often or not spawn around um, different like base ships that try and crash and we will try and find some in a bit. Now, the melee ones are literally regular ones, but they use melee attacks. Let me make this a little bit higher because um, I believe a few of them end up getting like a little bit bigger too. Uh, the ranged one will spawn with weapons and have a chance to drop the weapon. Now, these androids have different kind of wa rarities. Rarities, you have the blue ones, the purple ones, and there's also golden ones as well, which is the legendary ones. Now, a lot of these will have different tier weapons and different tier items. There you go, there's a legendary one. And uh, if they drop them, it's basically the only way to get new armor. So if you look at our parts in here, we have regular parts. They really don't do, do much to you, but they're just there. And if you kill some of these guys, you might be able to get some new, more new and some cooler parts for your android body. You probably sat there thinking, Hey Cyclone, you show me what they do, but how do I become an android? Well, let me show you. If you go over here and take a couple of the pills, it will say what they do. Give, give, give me the blue pill. There we go. So if you hover over the red pill, take the red pill and lose what's holding you back. The yellow pill, used to reset all android abilities. And the blue pill, wake you up in the bed. None the wiser. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the red pill. And as you can tell, it's now saying booting up system. We start to get hurt. Wait, what's going on? I, I don't remember this part. No, Bob. Bob, are you okay? Dude, do, do you see this toe? Is that like a weird thing in your screen that says subscribe and smash that notification bell to the video? Sorry, sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't mean to plug. Stalling drivers. Oh no, I'm a Windows update. No, Bob, I'm a Windows update. Run! <laughs> I didn't want this to happen. It's never gonna stop, Bob. I'm a Windows update. No. One like equals one Windows update. Termination in progress. Ah, wait, okay, I'm, uh, what? Oh, my, my hood's different. So by the looks of it, my hood's different now. That That's cool. We're not going to take the blue pill because I'm pretty certain that puts you back to normal. Or the yellow pill because we don't need it. But I guess we're an android now. Now, if you go over here, we have a couple things. Now, first off, this is called a star map. It's what I have under the floor over there to make it look all sparkly and cool. And you can get, like, views of the planet and views of the solar system with it. So it's really awesome, actually. Uh, now, if you go over to the right one, we have a weapon station, which I'll show off in just a second. And on the left one, we have our androidy android upgradey bit, which is basically shows our android skeleton in the bottom right corner and a bunch of upgrades. So we've upgraded airbags, so it enables floating while in water. you got a bunch of different upgrade lines you can go down and you can also upgrade your body too. So let me just go over here and take out these parts of android. Um, now these are the ones I got from creative mode, so they're not really special or have anything new about them, they're just the generic thing. So as you can tell, now I'm fully android. Now if I want to take off the hat, I can't because the hat is in there. But if I wanted to take it off, I'd just take off the head. Uh, normally I'd only leave like the skeleton on because I, I think it's awesome, it's really the only thing you need. Uh, now you notice over here, you need a battery. So in this, you don't need food and you don't need anything like that. If you look in the top left corner, you have 130% speed or walking, so you can walk 30% faster, um, but you have 98% of a battery and that goes down. Now, the reason that goes down is you need a battery, which you can install other mods to get you other types of batteries, although I just went into creative mode and grabbed the creative battery so don't ever die. That is the only thing you need to keep an eye on. 
uh, so you don't die. Now, we are going to hop into Game Mode C real quick, just so we can do all of the upgrades. Now, you got different upgrade paths. Once you get the first one, you can choose two different paths. So limb overclocking or night vision. Now, I'm going to get night vision and also limb overclock and overclock that a bunch. Um, so we're a lot faster. Now you have a few choices. Do you want to be able to teleport or heal yourself and have a mini map? Now, I want to be able to teleport and heal myself, but then I also need some armor because I don't want to die. I want a plasma shield and we'll get cloaking. Get some higher jump and space equalizer, whatever that means. But it also means I've missed out on sonic shockwave, uh, flash cooling, and an attack boost. Although we're pretty overpowered without any of that stuff. So now just from those upgrades, we can run really fast, jump really high, and if we hold the tab, we have a spinning wheel. This is basically decides, uh, okay, well, what, what kind of ability do you want to use? Now, my ability key is X. So if I go over here and click X on the cloaking one, I become completely invisible. I then turn that off. Um, I can turn it off and on. If we go to the end of teleporter and we're in first person mode and we hold X, it will give a small little portal type thing. And then it will teleport us to wherever that is. Now, you don't take full damage as an Android, by the way, or at least maybe because it's the upgrades we have, we just don't take full damage. You have Night Vision, which we're going to leave on and, and just leave on because it's nicer. And then finally, the Plasma Shield, which in my opinion is awesome. Look how cool this is. I believe it makes you immune to bullets or something, or maybe it brings up your health. I don't quite remember. Now we're going to go into, I think it's this right chest over here and look at a few of the guns and a few of the upgrades in the left chest. So these upgrades are types of upgrades you can put onto the weapons in this game. Now, there are different types of weapons. You have a Plasma Rifle, which is literally just like a rifle of air or not air more like plasma yeah it's just exactly plasma you have an iron sniper which shoots a lot a lot slower has a bunch of recoil um now if you look in the top left below your health they do also have a battery of their own uh, or it's called ammo they have their own ammo which is uh because they all run on energy and they also can overheat if you use them too much i don't remember what happens if they overheat i believe you just can't use them for a little while um and you can get upgrades to stop this now you've also got a phaser which is literally just a phaser and if you shift right click you can decide um what energy level you want the phaser to be on and it'll do more damage but also overheat and use ammo a lot faster now with the omni tool however it can act as a weapon and also a very very useful mining tool. Uh, now, it doesn't break any of the blocks so they drop, but it's really powerful and uh, is just really overpowered, honestly. Look how far that goes for. You could strip mine for days with this. And by the way, that was me mining through iron blocks. It's really quite overpowered. Now, it does slow you down when you use it, although it's still really overpowered and basically breaks through everything really fast. Probably get down to bedrock level with it. There you go. So it mines really, really far ahead of you. It's just a really useful way to mine. But once again, those are only really the basic tools. Let me go and show you guys a few upgrades, and we're only going to do it to the phaser, as the phaser is awesome. So if you put the phaser in here, you have a bunch of different upgrades. You can get regenerative, converter, which will, I mean, it has heal, so it'll heal itself. You have fire damage, so when you use it, it will create fire, I believe, or something. We have to put it up a little. Oh, there we go. Put it up a little bit higher, and when you create it, it should create damage. I don't know. I'm confused. I lied to you. I'm sorry. I guess it means when we shoot, it'd be fire. It'd be fire damage. Yeah, that was a stupid one to put in there. What I know works is explosion damage. I know that much. Because it does the exact same normal thing, but the moment you put it up high, it makes everything explode! Overheats really fast. You can also turn them red and give it different modules and power modules and all these different things. These are for more actual weapons. So, for example, if we go and get an actual weapon, like the plasma shotgun, we can give it whatever we need. So, we'll give it one of these damage. Uh, we can make it a different color, I think, if we had any color on us. Uh, that's about all this one can really do. You can give it a scope. Um, or Oh, maybe you can't. Maybe you can only give the sniper a scope. Regardless, yeah, you guys get the gist of everything. That's how it all works. Now, if I then take the phaser real quick, put it on a really high damage and just... Oh, no, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, oh no. Okay. Um... I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. Um... There's a lot of bad people in my house now. Leave. Thank you. Now I'm going to kill all of these, so we'll cut back when I've killed them all. Now, guys, as you can tell here, when I killed the legendary um, android, he dropped a legendary sniper rifle. Which, as you can tell, if we compare that to a regular, we'll go to an iron sniper real quick. If you compare them both, it has a lot more overall power. Uh, it has less, uh, oh no, more power use, but it does, well, actually, did it do more or less damage? I can't tell. I think this iron sniper has an upgrade on it, so that might be, it has a fire upgrade. Okay. So although that one, this one does more, more damage, it's because it's an iron sniper. Now, there are different types of snipers. I completely forgot. I thought there was only the iron sniper. No, I don't know whether I can get any of them. Yeah, okay. So either there's different powers of snipers, or maybe this is just not a powerful one. I'm, I'm bamboozled, honestly. Oh, right, no, the reason this one's better is it fires a lot faster. Okay, I see that. So that's why it's a legendary one. It doesn't do as much damage, but it fires a lot faster. So this is what we're going to use to clean all of this mess up. Now, they do only have a chance to drop their weapons, and when they do drop them, they sometimes might not even give you anything good, or they might just be terrible, really. Now, remember, as an android, you don't need food, so it's a huge bonus for you that, just for that fact alone, um, we're going to kill a few more of these that are still lingering around the uh, the lab real quick. There you go. It's basically one hits those guys. We are OP. 
Okay, now we're going to continue to kill the rest of these, hop in there and get my desk, pick up all the items, and then see what we got. Okie dokie now. So we got different androids, and as you can tell, a few of them are like different range. Okay, you got ranged androids or regular androids. None of these parts that they dropped are actually very, very useful or very good or, or really of any use to us. But that is basically one of the only ways to get different parts, or I believe the only way to get different parts, even if you're in game mode C, from what I can tell, is you just have to grind it out. So for example, let me make a small pit in the ground, and we're just going to go sit there in game mode C, kill a bunch of them, then we'll cut back with you guys. Okay, this isn't working. They're fighting back, so I have another idea. Okay, now they're fighting each other. That wasn't my idea, but it worked. So, for those wondering what my idea was, now, honestly, it's a pretty intricate idea. It's actually really, really, um, uh, I'm surprised I thought of it. I'll say that. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't have thought of it in a million years. It's called suffocating them with anvil. And now we wait. Wait, they don't, they don't suffocate? Well, that... That was a fail. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave that part of the video. And now they burn. That was my smart idea all along. Wait, no, the stuff that they have will burn. No, 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 don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Okay, it was not a very clever idea. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know how to beat them. I'm, I'm just confused. I guess we could summon a wither in there. Um, and maybe the wither would fight them. Okay, let's give that a go. Summon wither. Okay, we summoned a wither. Wither better fight them and not destroy the lab for no reason. Wither, they're in there. There you go. Now we wait. No, we need more withers. We'll be fine. What, what's the worst that could happen? I. I can't tell whether they're immune to withers. Kill. I'm just gonna kill myself by the looks of it. Uh, just kind of difficulty peaceful at all. And now they're all gone. Okay, so there's a problem with me keep on like having to, to stop because I, I, I overheated a lot. So I came up with a solution, which is more shotguns. A lot more shotguns. So I think we're gonna be good now. It just might take a while. If you're wondering, by the way, why they aren't running out of ammo, it's not because I'm in game with C, but you can get an upgrade, which is the creative battery, and you can put it inside of the weapons as well. Um, there's also a weird object I'm holding at the very end of my inventory. So I just stick around if you want to see what that does. Okay, guys, I got one. I got a legendary android head. One one item after all of that. Um, it's gonna take a while. Wait, no, we got a legendary omni tool as well. That's awesome. Okay, we've got two legendary phaser rifles. Okay, so we have been getting legendary stuff. Okay, I just haven't been looking. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Properly. Oh, by the way, you got energy packs, which these androids drop, which I guess you could put on yourself if you didn't have a creative battery. Because you got to remember, the only thing that's keeping you from dying is the fact that you have a battery, and if you run out of energy, then you're basically gone. So that's fun. So we got three legendary phaser rifles, two of which are the same, so we're going to get rid of this one for now. And then the other one, as you can tell, has, I think, less damage, less DPS, worse. Yeah, the, the other one's better. This is the best phaser rifle I've, I've gotten. As you can tell, I mean, you can kind of see why it fires pretty fast, does a lot of damage. It's doing, it's doing a fair amount of... Uh, of work on these guys. If I switch between them rapidly, I don't have to worry about any of the uh, overheating. This is pretty OP. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they all have names too. You've got S Sony, Sony, I guess, but Sony, you've got um, ED, Mega Man, The Robot, that's a great one, Data, Ismo, or Ismo, I don't know, uh, Optimus Prime, that's the one I was looking for. Yeah, you got these called Optimus Prime, they, they spawn with random names too, so it's pretty interesting. As you can tell, I just got more stuff over there, wow, so now we really have got a lot of stuff. So, by the way, if you guys didn't know, the better the Omni Tools, it's just the better overall. Uh, you've got this Omni Tool here, which sacrifices a bunch of its uh, damage, so 90 7% of its damage for accuracy, which I guess is better. Um, I, just, I don't know whether that means it can go further or not. Um, no, because it's not increasing the range. So which of these has higher range? They're the exact same. But this one seems faster, and it also has heat. So I guess if I were to get these guys with it, they'd burn. I don't really know. I, I guess. I don't know. We're just going to get rid of these for a bit. Uh, you can't really kill them in any easy way, so they're just going to go for a while. Bye. See ya. See ya. Okay, we'll use you guys as the, the test subject. So yes, it puts them on fire. Really OP phaser rifles that do no damage for some reason. Plasma shotgun. Ion sniper. Boom. Too easy. But anyway, that's really the basics of how this mod works. It also adds in one more thing uh, into your Minecraft world, which is called a gravitational anomaly. Now, it'll basically start to suck everything in. Now, if you hover over it only when you're an Android, you can see its mass. Uh, its mass is how many blocks is kind of an envelope. You throw stuff into it, the mass will grow, uh, as you can tell by that. Um, it then gets a bigger range, um, a bigger break range, so it can break blocks within, I think it's the range of four. Probably not that powerful blocks for now. Uh, although, if you feed these things, they do something really cool, and they destroy your entire world. Now, if you look at here, it has different matters. So, the more matter something has, the, the bigger or the easier you're going to be able to feed this thing. So, let's have a look for a block that has a lot of matter. I believe would probably be blocks of diamonds. That, that's, that's like a really easy way to grow it. As you can tell, it's a big boy now. That was a really instant. It became a big boy super fast there. And then it will start sucking blocks in from even closer to it. And as you slowly grow it, it will get a lot bigger and a lot bigger. And it will start to break literally everything. It's just... 
I don't know why I did this, because I know what happens when you grow them really, 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 really big. And it's not pretty what happens. I wonder which has more matter. Okay, they all have kind of like the same matter. Oh, no. Okay, so obsidian has a much higher matter than any of those. Um, I might have just figured out something that I'm going to do. It's now going to the sides where it can envelop iron blocks. Uh, it's not really the size where it can do anything else yet. And now I can't even see the range or the mass or anything on it. Big is what it is now. It's just big. And it will start to take stuff over time and eventually envelop your entire Minecraft world. So as to why I did this, I honestly don't know. 3.02k km. Okay, so this seems like it's going to be an interesting thing to feed it. Golden apples. What if I fed it a dragon egg? Uh, egg. I guess I don't have a dragon egg in this version. All right, that's upsetting. I really don't think it's going to get any better than feeding it golden apples, honestly. I've just looked around for a little while, and this seems to be the best way to grow it. Uh, so we're going to keep on feeding it golden apples until it's super full and it doesn't want any more golden apples. If I believe if I were to drop them here, they'd probably get sucked in anyway. Yeah, so it's, it's just getting bigger and taking more of my world with it. Uh, so I might as well help it out. Now, I'm pretty certain this is the biggest it can get. Maybe it can get bigger, and maybe I just haven't seen it. I wouldn't really know. If you guys do want to download this mod for yourself, let me know by just growing it and seeing, like, what's the hugest size you can get it to? And what's the most destruction you can have this guy do? Just so you guys know, if I were to go and get my ass, I'm instantly gone, by the way. The moment I go towards it, I'm, I'm gone. It throws me through it. Uh, and then you sometimes get stuck in an infinite loop of being sucked into it. Although I believe it's because I'm an Android, it doesn't happen as easily to me. Um, but it, it still does. Still does it, which is pain. Pain in the butt is what it is. Ah, yeah! Okay, I have a plasma shield. Okay, that didn't really work. Anyway, guys, I think we're gonna end it here. If you have enjoyed, remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to never miss a daily video on the Mod Central channel, guys. Uh, I really do enjoy doing these videos, and they come out daily. I have three channels which I do daily videos on, so go give them all support, guys. Uh, it's honestly a lot of work, but you guys make it worth it. Thank you for all of the support on this channel recently. It's actually been killing it, guys. Let's keep with the support. Smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you never miss a daily video. I've been Cyclone from Mod Central, and good Goodbye, everybody. Into the anomaly we go. <laughs>